Welcome back to Wrestling Flash. In this WWE and all things wrestling video we are going to look at. CM Punk reacts to Cody Rhodes' WrestleMania 38 return. Cody Rhodes' deal with WWE disclosed. Let's start with the best and worst of WrestleMania 38 Night 1. WrestleMania 38 is halfway done. The incredible weekend kickstarted with SmackDown, and following the Hall of Fame ceremony and NXT, Stand and Deliver, things only got bigger and better. WrestleMania 38 Night 1 is officially in the books, and what a night it was. It was overall quite an entertaining show to watch for over 4 hours, and WWE is going to have to do a lot to make Night 2 as if not more memorable. It's interesting because WrestleMania Sunday technically has the better matches, but that doesn't mean that it's going to deliver at the same level as Night 1, especially with the ending. It only goes to show that the two-night format with four hours each works much better than a single night with eight hours. With that said, here were the ups and downs of the first night of WrestleMania 38. Number 4. Best, Logan Paul's incredible performance at WrestleMania 38. When Bad Bunny wrestled last year in his tag team match, he instantly became the greatest celebrity to ever wrestle in WWE. He was such a high bar to live up to, that some doubted that Logan Paul would be able to do the same. However, Paul, in his in-ring debut, picked up a win over the Mysterios. Now, it's easy to hate on him, but if anything, he proved at WrestleMania 38 that he is a natural entertainer and athlete. If his ventures into boxing weren't enough, his in-ring performance and his utilization of crowd heat goes to show what a natural he is at wrestling. The Miz betrayed him after the match, giving Logan Paul some sympathy. One of the best parts is how this is the second year in a row he has put over a superstar by taking their finishing move. Number 3. Worst, the SmackDown Women's Title Match It was surprising that WWE put Charlotte Flair vs. Ronda Rousey in the sleeper match spot on the card, but that's exactly what happened. The second last bout of WrestleMania 38 Night 1 saw the heated clash between the two superstars. While we were hopeful that the match would deliver and overshadow a forgettable build-up, that isn't what happened. Instead, the bout was a slow-paced bout that dragged on and got little reaction, with Flair picking up the win controversially. She has now been a champion for eight months, although her current reign only technically started in October of 2021. This was one of the low points of the card in an otherwise great night at WrestleMania 38. Number 3. Best, Bianca Belair vs. Becky Lynch at WrestleMania 38 Bianca Belair vs. Becky Lynch was undoubtedly the match of the night at WrestleMania 38 Night 1. When all is said and done, we wouldn't be surprised if this is considered one of the best matches overall on the two-day card. If anything, the Raw Women's title match should have headlined the show instead, although Stone Cold Steve Austin is admittedly a more marketable name. However, Belair's stock only continues to rise as she had an in-ring masterclass against Lynn. She dethroned Big Time Bex, getting full revenge for the 26-second loss at SummerSlam 2021. It was storytelling at its finest. Number 2. Worst, the overall match placement. The match placement was a little off at WrestleMania 38. The Raw Women's title match would have been best placed as either the opening match of the card or the closing bout. The SmackDown Tag Team title match was fine, but the circumstances were unfortunate. With that said, it seemed as though WWE had the match placement all over the place. Time was so crunched that Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods had their match against Sheamus and Ridge Holland cancelled. That was perhaps one of the few disastrous parts of the WrestleMania weekend so far. Number 2. Best, Stone Cold Steve Austin's return to the ring at WrestleMania 38. Stone Cold Steve Austin made his in-ring return after 19 years. Not only this, but it was against Kevin Owens, a man who idolized him as a child. And to add the cherry on top, it was a no-holds-barred bout. Steve Austin took some good bumps and his brawling style was perfect as he returned to the ring after nearly two decades. It was a good match and a great moment as Austin beat KO with the stunner only to give him one more. Austin stood tall at WrestleMania 38 Night 1, and we couldn't think of a more perfect moment to end the night with. Number 1. Worst, the injury to Rick Books. It was unfortunate how the WrestleMania 38 show opened. It was the SmackDown tag team titles that were on the line, and one freak moment caused a change in finish. Rick Boogs tried the fireman's carry on both members of the Usos, but his knee buckled under the weight, leaving him with a torn quad patella that will require surgery. This isn't a work, and it's a legitimate injury that occurred. This was the low point of WrestleMania 38, and we wish Boogs a speedy recovery. Number 1. Best, Cody Rhodes' Return The moment of the show, apart from Bianca Belair's KOD and Steve Austin's return, was Cody Rhodes' return. There was a lot of speculation about his status, but once fans spotted a trap door on the stage, it became clear that Rhodes was making his return. He returned and had his best singles match in WWE yet as he beat Seth Rollins in an incredible effort. It was the second best match of the night, but from a technical standpoint, it was probably the first. It was a moment to relish, and an incredible homecoming for an ambitious star looking to become a future world champion. Backstage details on Cody Rhodes' WWE deal, major role disclosed. Details on Cody Rhodes' WWE deal have come out via the Superstars' public relations team. 
Cody Rhodes made his big return to WWE at WrestleMania set and faced Seth Rollins in singles competition. Rhodes received a loud pop from fans in attendance, and the duo delivered a banger in the ring. Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated has now shared a screen grab that reveals details about Cody's WWE contract. The former AEW star is now signed to a multi-year WWE deal. Rhodes will also act as an executive producer to WWE's Dusty Rhodes documentary on him. Rhodes requested his WWE release in mid-2016, and it was granted soon after. He went on to become one of the biggest names in the world of pro wrestling and was instrumental in the formation of All Elite Wrestling alongside the Young Bucks. Cody was one of the hottest acts on AEW TV for the better part of his stay in the company. He also won the TNT Championship. All this while, Cody spoke about his previous employer on various occasions. While he took several shots at WWE, there were times when he spoke highly of Vince McMahon, Triple H, and other higher-ups. In a written statement in 2019, Rhodes heaped praise on a bunch of major WWE names, including Vince McMahon and Randy Orton. I've had the best education one could ever receive for this job. A pro since age 15, 11 years under the learning tree of such minds as Randy Orton, Vince McMahon, Arn Anderson, Dean Malenko and countless other legends, and, of course, the three decades I spent talking wrestling every day with the American Dream himself," wrote Rhodes. The American Nightmare and Seth Rollins stole the show tonight at WrestleMania Saturday. The match went on with back and forth as both tried to get the pinfall victory. It was Cody who came out victorious from the encounter. A crossroads ended the match as he stood tall, to a big pop from the fans. It remains to be seen what's next for Cody on WWE TV now that he's made an impressive return by putting down one of the biggest names in the company. What did you make of Cody Rhodes' return to WWE? Let us know in the comments section below. CM Punk reacts to Cody Rhodes' WrestleMania 38 return. Former WWE champion and current AEW star CM Punk has reacted to Cody Rhodes returning to WWE tonight at WrestleMania 38. The American Nightmare was revealed as Seth Rollins' opponent on the show tonight. After a great back-and-forth match, Rhodes picked up the victory over Rollins. Taking to Twitter, CM Punk has now sent out a heartfelt three-word message stating that he's happy for Cody. He further added that he's very happy for Stone Cold Steve Austin, who also made his grand and ring return tonight at WrestleMania 38 against Kevin Owens. Happy for Kev. Happy for Cody. Very happy for Steve. Also happy for Sting. Happy for myself. Happy for Brian. This isn't controversial. FCK Eddie Kingston. Oh, happy for Edge, wrote CM Punk. In one of the biggest pro wrestling moments of all time, CM Punk signed with All Elite Wrestling last year. However, he and Cody Rhodes never got to wrestle with each other in AEW during the short time that they were together in the promotion. The two have previously faced each other on multiple occasions in WWE. During an interview with Brian Jones of Pop Culture last year, Rhodes commented on how significant CM Punk's signing with AEW was, calling the show where he returned the most important show since Bash at the Beach. Every wrestler wants to be in that spot, to hear that crowd that way, and seven years his audience had waited, and to be in his home and the ice cream and just the synergy and the love. I really enjoyed the steam, the look in his eyes, we walked out and saw not just his fans, but what the AEW fans look like. It's changed our business. He's broke every record there was, Rhodes said. With CM Punk signed to AEW and Cody Rhodes signing a multi-year contract with WWE, it seems highly unlikely that we'll see the two wrestle each other 